From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode's brought to you by the audiobook The Last Observer – A Magic Battle for Reality by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample on the audiobooks page at MarlarHouse.com. The California State Senate has passed a bill that would make it a criminal offense to address a transgender person by the wrong pronoun. According to HotAir.com, the bill now goes on to the state assembly. If passed and signed by the governor, the bill could enforce criminal penalties, including jail time, against someone who refuses to address a transgender individual by their chosen gender pronoun. Meanwhile, that lunch lady I had back in elementary school is still out of luck because she's not transgender, she just looks like a man because of her mustache. Fifty percent of Americans have ditched their friends and made up a lie so that they could stay at home and watch TV. <laughs> well, you have to admit the television never judges you or excuses itself to go to the bathroom when the check for dinner arrives at the restaurant table. Aston Martin says it'll go completely hybrid with its cars by 2025. We'll soon be getting exciting movie chase scenes with James Bond desperately searching for an electrical outlet. For those of you who eat at your desk every day, it comes as no surprise that the lunch hour has been shrinking in recent years. A recent survey shows 70 percent of Americans either work straight through lunch or spend a mere five to ten minutes woofing down their food. Six in ten of Americans consider the one-hour lunch to be the biggest myth in office life. Although, you know, I do try to bring the world into balance by taking a five-hour lunch each day. The only issue with that is making my meal last all the way through the Back to the Future trilogy. The city of Los Angeles has officially replaced the Columbus Day holiday on their calendar with Indigenous Peoples Day. Honestly, I mean, you can call it Imaginary Friend Day for all I care. I, I, I wouldn't care as long as it means I get to sleep in. Parents in Zimbabwe who can't afford school fees can now offer livestock, such as goats or sheep, as payment. The country's education minister said that schools will have to show flexibility when it comes to demanding tuition fees from parents. Man, that would never work in America. Our alternative means of payment would have to be stuff like Cheetos dust and leftover marshmallow peeps. New stats show that Americans, on average, spend more on taxes in 2016 than they did on food and clothing combined. Well, it certainly felt like it. A report says 85 percent of all clothes end up in landfills. See, and you've been wasting your money shopping at Goodwill. Rachel Ray has donated a million dollars to animals that were affected by Hurricane Harvey. Really? Uh, you, you couldn't think about, oh, I don't know, taking care of the people first? Crib, car seat, baby wipe, warmer. You know, there are so many things expectant parents need to buy. Well, here's something else for the shopping list – a baby naming consultant. You'll find them mostly in Los Angeles, New York City, Chicago, Hong Kong, and a number of other major cities. One Swiss branding company charges more than $29,000 to choose the perfect name for a soon-to-arrive child. Just imagine! For just under $30,000, your child could be the next Apple, or Scout, or Fifi, or Pilot, or Moon Unit. An Australian pop star is getting lots of flack for thinking that twerking in a Holocaust museum and taking pictures was a good idea. <laughs> See? And you thought all the idiot celebrities lived in America. An armed robbery suspect found out the hard way that holding up a mixed martial arts studio is not an easy target. Police said shortly after 9 p.m., a man walked into the defiant MMA and fitness studio in Burbank and pulled a gun on employees and customers. An instructor, lightweight MMA fighter Jacob Powell, knocked the gun out of the suspect's hand and pinned him down until police arrived to take him into custody. A gun is no match for Cobra Kai! Frito-Lay, the makers of Doritos, Ruffles, and Funyuns, are working on an organic non-GMO chip to cash in on their increasing popularity. Although, are you really concerned about GMOs if you're chowing down on Funyuns? James Sissom and Ashley Smider they picked a unique location for their wedding earlier this year. The Northern Californians got married at the 17,500-foot base camp on Mount Everest. 
it was a dream fulfilled for the adventurous couple whose first date was an overnight hiking trip in Yosemite National Park. It took them eight days of hiking just to reach the wedding location. You know, I've said it before, a good marriage is hard work. In, in this case, it's hard work even before the marriage. Competing muggers tried to rob the same bus. A gunfight erupted on a Mexico City bus where competing muggers ran into each other as they robbed passengers. They killed each other. You know what? All muggings should end this way. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. To become an official weirdo, click that subscribe button and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be a part of the notification squad. While you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you are an official weirdo.